Uh, hey, dude, sorry to bother you, but why aren't you uh, touching the, ch the bar with your chest? If I go any lower than that, it's going to hurt my shoulders. I mean, to be honest, you could probably lower that weight a little, dude. What does this mean, lower the weight? You're a idiot. Hey guys, Scott Herman, welcome back to the channel. So by now, I'm pretty sure all of you have seen the gruesome pec and biceps tendon tear that Ryan Crowley sustained while incline benching with Larry Wheels. If not, you can see my response video by clicking the link right here. But essentially what happened is that Ryan decided to max out on his incline bench press despite the many, many red flags that indicated that his body probably wasn't prepared for such a heavy lift. Now before we jump into today's video, it does look like Ryan is already in recovery from surgery. He's doing okay. And even though his injury is the result of just plain stupidity, we all make mistakes, guys. And I'm sending nothing but positive vibes Ryan's way. But that doesn't mean we can't take this opportunity to turn his injury into a teachable moment. I actually saw a lot of comments on my video response, which I'm sure the majority of them were not 100% serious, but it seemed like after watching the pec tear, quite a few of you are now a bit nervous when benching because you feel a bit of tension or tightness in your chest and shoulders. So let's take some time today to go over three tips to help you not only increase your shoulder mobility, but also correct your bench press form so you can bring that barbell all the way down to your chest. Tip number one, shoulder warm-ups. Guys, it should go without saying that if your shoulders are tight, then there's an issue that needs to be addressed. So before you even think about benching, you best be doing at least two to three of the following shoulder warm-ups. My go-to shoulder warm-ups are dumbbell shoulder rotations and shoulder breakers. They're very easy to do, and you typically only need about two sets of 12 to 15 repetitions of each warm-up to stop feeling loose. For the dumbbell shoulder rotations, the key here is to never let your shoulder come up off the ground as you rotate your arm back and forth, Use a light dumbbell and do not force the range of motion. Just focus on keeping your upper arm extended away from your body and keep a 90 degree bend in your elbow. As for shoulder breakers, grab a band and hold it close enough so you can create some tension by pulling your hands apart. Then just simply bring the band back and forth up and over your body while keeping your elbows locked out. Now if you don't have access to a band or the dumbbells make your shoulders uncomfortable, Try these body weight variations instead. Just perform each movement for two sets of 15 to 20 seconds. And remember the goal here isn't speed, it's feeling the area loosen up. Also, keep in mind guys that even when performing your working sets of bench, it's 100% okay to repeat any of these warmups during your rest period if you're still feeling tight. Tip number two, lower the weight for your working sets. Now this is an obvious tip, but usually is what goes most neglected. You can't expect to fix your form working with the same weight you train with because if you're half repping, whatever range of motion you've been skipping just isn't ready to handle your current working weight. So what I want you to do is break down your working weight to something you can rep out about 15 to 20 times. This way, the weight is heavy enough to get your chest fibers to activate under a working load while we start to correct your form. This is also important because we do want to try to use the weight of the barbell to help us get lower on the reps so we can feel the stretch, but we want to do it in a safe way and not with a lot of weight. Oh dude, is that as low as we can go <coughs> with that bar? Yeah, I think we need to make the bar heavier to go lower. Oh hell yeah, what's your max? My max right now is like 285. We should probably do 315, right? The third and final tip is you have to reestablish the correct bar path while benching. And for the majority of you, I'm willing to bet the main reason your shoulders hurt when you bench and the reason why you're half repping is because you're benching too high. This means that instead of bringing the barbell down over the meat of your chest, your shoulders are flared out and the barbell is more over your upper chest and shoulders as you descend. Now, there are a few reasons why this could be happening, but 99% of the time it's because your shoulders are becoming unpacked when you unrack the weight. So you might be getting into perfect bench form at the start of the lift, but in order to unrack the weight without realizing it, you're unpacking your shoulders to push the barbell up and over the J-hooks. Then from here, you're either not repacking your shoulders or you're unable to pack them correctly. 
And by pack them correctly, I mean you're able to not only retract, but also depress your shoulder blades. So before you even load the barbell with weight, guys, whether flat or inclined benching, make sure the bench is positioned correctly so that you can easily unrack the barbell and your shoulder position doesn't change. Then from here, it's just gonna take a bit of time and patience and you should expect to feel weak as your body learns to push heavier weights through that bottom range of motion that you've been skipping out on. But after about six to eight weeks, I guarantee you'll either be back at your normal working weight or already starting to increase it. Remember that Ryan's injury happened for a lot of reasons. He isn't a power lifter. What he was trying to lift was already a lot heavier than his previous max. His range of motion was flawed from the start. And most importantly, Ryan is a young guy. He's only 23 years old at 330 pounds. So he's been on gear for quite some time. And at some point, the strength of your muscles will outpace the strength of your tendons when growing as fast as him. That's very different from you feeling a bit tight on your working sets because your shoulders need some mobility work. So don't stress about it, and as long as you apply these three tips, you're going to be just fine. But if you're still worried, upload a video of your bench press form to YouTube, and then post it in my forums. I'll be more than happy to critique your bench press if it means helping you avoid an injury. Just click the link to my forums in my pinned comment below. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to help boost that YouTube algorithm by tapping that like button and dropping a comment below. Let me know which tip you thought was the most helpful to you. Also, I'll post an amazing video right here for those of you still having trouble with your bench press form. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.